Well, good morning, everyone. Another edition of West Texas Wild. Dr. Ray Matlack here. And, hey, we're talking about a particular insect today that's surprisingly uh, pretty. Yeah, you know. beautiful, gorgeous. Um, one of the, the larger of the dragonflies we have around. This is called a green darner. Um, some things about dragonflies that people may not know is that they, they breed as adults, the ones that we see flying around, and they oviposit or lay their eggs in the water. And so when they lay their eggs in the water, um, they create this nymph. And this nymph is a, a, a terror underwater. They will feed on everything from other insects to tadpoles to small fish even. Um, so is this a, actually a good insect to have around? Uh, well, sure, yeah, they catch a lot of flying insects. They catch insects on the wing as adults. So what you're seeing here is an adult dragonfly, green darner, and they're one of the most widespread in North America. They occur all the way up through, through most of North America, and they're, they're known for their migration. Um, which you don't hear a lot about in insects except for like monarch butterflies and things, but these migrate all the way from northern parts of North America all the way down into Texas for the winter, even down into Mexico. Wow, and how big are these guys? Because they, they're pretty substantial. Oh, five, five or six inches long. Um, yeah, these are one of our larger dragonflies in, in North America. So they're five or six inches long, and they can be found. This one we found right in the backyard here in, in Canyon, Texas. So. Wow, because I remember seeing one one time, I thought I was seeing a hummingbird at first. Oh, yeah. And then realize, no, it's a bit skinnier and, than And, one. you know, you're, when you mention hummingbirds, the, the thing that's so amazing about these guys is also their ability to fly. They have their four wings. They always keep them open. If they close them, they're damselflies. But they always keep them open, dragonflies do, and they can operate each one independently, and they're just amazing at flying. Wow. Catching very, insects out of the air. Very interesting. So, uh, you know, what, what's the best time of the year? I know you just said this. What's the best time of the year to actually see them around here? And you see them around bodies of water more or anything? Um, you know, that's a that's a kind of a, a misnomer. They're not just around bodies of water. Um, I see them around, around Canyon all summer long, um, flying up as high as the treetops, catching insects. Um, they land in my yard. Uh, if you have water, there's a lot of them because that is, again, where they, they lay their eggs and where their nymphs will form, and then they'll metamorphose into the adults from the water. So water is a good place to look. All right. Well, thank you very much. Great information once again. I hope you get to see one of these guys flying around, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks for having me. All right. Great. Thanks.